All right, welcome to our introductory video for one of the four sections of the MCAT. Specifically, this video is designed to help you get comfortable with the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. Now, this is kind of new, so just quickly, this section of the MCAT will draw from your coursework in psychology um, and sociology. Now, I know that some of you who are applying to take the MCAT actually have a background in public health. Mm -hmm. Some of you are probably right now taking um, MPH courses or coursework where you've completed an MPH. And if you have, um, that will actually help you on this section of the exam. Because another term that I think could be used to describe this um, section of the MCAT would be social and behavioral aspects of public health. And you'll see why. So let's walk through it and see how this section of the exam is designed. Like the natural science portions of the exam, this segment or section of the MCAT will last 95 minutes and you will have 67 questions. Those 67 questions will consist of both freestanding questions where you will have to know the concept beforehand and apply it, or you'll be asked about something very specific and you'll just have to answer the question. So recall, okay, testing your ability to recognize and answer questions about concepts you've learned. The remaining questions will come from passages. And so these passages will deal with psychology, sociology, and of course, biological foundations and principles that define behavior. But this is a very, 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 very broad um, section. And you'll see this as I walk through the foundational concepts in this video. This section actually has more foundational concepts than the natural science section. If you recall, the biological science section had uh, three foundational concepts. Um, the chemical and physical science section, you can call it that for short, had only two. But this one has six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it has five uh, foundational concept sections. So it just shows you how broad, how much depth and scope there is to this particular section of the MCAT exam. But it's not just psychology. Now, um, if you were pre-med you, you, and you were a biology major, you would have taken a course, I believe, a sequence, or maybe just one course in uh, general psychology, or you might have tested out of it if you took it in high school, AP psychology. Um, so that content would be there, would be very helpful for you. Abnormal psychology is something you probably uh, took as well as part of the curriculum. It would benefit you for this course or for this section as well. But it's not just psychology. What do I mean? This portion of the exam was designed to test your ability to use and integrate concepts not just from psychology, but sociology. Um, so if you took that, that's a plus. And also biology. And why are they integrating these three disciplines? Because you're going to be asked about the behavioral and sociocultural determinants of human health. This is why I said if you had um, a public health background or taking courses in like epidemiology, um, social behavior theory, environmental health, all of these things will actually help you in this section. But even though this takes the health perspective, see, the natural sciences deal with natural science, basic science, concepts and things you've learned. And of course, it's the research that's applied. But here, this section doesn't deal with natural science, it deals with social science. And so even though you're going to be tested conceptually, you're still going to be asked to apply scientific research and statistical skills to topics in these disciplines. So the layout is going to be the same as the natural science section. You will have these passages. Each passage will be from a particular foundational concept. And each question, I'm sorry, each question will be from a particular foundational concept and each question will test a specific skill. And those four skills, the same skills from the natural science section, um, you recall, information you already know, um, using scientific reasoning, evaluating research methodology, and of course, statistical and data analysis. So that's required here as well. The content, this will have, again, as I mentioned before, coursework material, or material, I should say, from your introductory biology and sociology courses, concepts about mental processes and behavior, and basic research methods and statistics. And if you've taken psychology courses, you know that there's a lot of statistics um, that goes into psychological research. All right, so let's take a look at one of these foundational concepts. The first is foundational concept number six. It has to do with how individuals perceive, interpret, and respond to the world. In other words, how you function in the world. How do you perceive the world? 
Um, so it's how you sense the environment, how individuals understand and process information about the environment and also respond. So when you think about psychology and animal behavior, you think about the stimulus, right? Um, there's a stimulus, you respond, or you first have to detect the stimulus, comprehend or process what the stimulus is, and then respond. So this particular section deals with that. Then we get to foundational concept number seven. It deals with the biological, psychological, and sociocultural, social as well as cultural basis of human behavior. What are the individual influences on human behavior? What are the social processes that shape and cause you to change your behavior? And what are these changes in attitude and human behavior? Now, human behavior is broad because human behavior can be studied from the perspective of animal, um, if you can think about it, behavioral neuroscience, animal um, behavior. Um, then, of course, you can study it from just psychological behavior. So you should be prepared for a wide range of subtopics. But the MCAT preview guide does list the major ideas and concepts that you will be required to know before you sit down to take this exam. We get to foundational concept number eight. It deals with the biological, psychological, and sociocultural. So we're going with this um, basis of how we perceive and identify not only ourselves, but others. So self-identity, group thinking, thinking as a social behavior, as well as social interaction. How do our networks shape how we see ourselves? How does the environment, the kind of people we interact with, family structure, church structure, uh, school structure, just your neighborhood, where you live, neighborhood interactions, all these things. What is the basis for self-identity and perception of others? It's going to be an interesting section to study for. And then well-being. The health aspect actually comes to play in foundation, foundational concepts numbers 9 and number 10. Here in foundational concept number 9, you're going to be evaluated on the sociocultural inferences of human well-being, human health or public health. And so that's why those MPA students, this is for you. <laughs> so social structures, okay, as well as sociodemographics, curves. Um, if you've probably heard about demographic transitions from industrial to, the pre, to now versus the pre-industrial, um, birth rates, death rates, um, all of these things. How do we maintain these sociodemographics of communities? And how do these things affect human health? That's what you will be tested on. And last but not least is foundational concept number 10, um, which deals with social inequality. Now you're taking this question about human health and behavior beyond the scope of just um, the individual and the individual social network and we saw the, the, the society because we talked about demographics. But in this one, you actually deal with resource access and social divide, social stratification, um, class systems. Um, socioeconomic disparities, access to health care, access to resources. This is all public health. And that's why I said if you have that background, yay for you. If you don't have that background, don't panic. In the preview guide, and that's why we're here, obviously, to help you as well, are the topics. And so the exams that you'll take, the practice tests, they're designed to cover all of those categories listed on AMCAT. As you go through these exams, you'll see that. It's not just the same concept over and over again. So don't panic. If you ha don't have a public health background or you haven't taken lots of sociology courses, you can practice and you can do well on this section. Don't be intimidated by this one. All right, so there are foundational five foundational concepts, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. Okay, here they are, just to review. This section, it's not just psychology. It's going to involve sociology um, and, of course, biological foundation of behavior. Let me address the biological component quickly. As you look at these um, concepts and the thing, content, introductory biology, you're saying the biological basis of behavior. Think about behavior this way. There's human behavior that we can link to the environment. That's usually what we think about when we think about psychology. But also remember there's a biological component of human behavior. So think about something like addiction, right? Yes, addiction has to do with um, maybe social influences absolutely we hear about group pressure and peer pressure and bullying and all these aspects are covered in this section of the exam but what about the biological basis of addiction what about receptors what about ligands what about neurotransmitters so that's where the biological component comes or is integrated in this particular section of the exam so do not forget as you're studying to remember the biological basis of um, the social behaviors 
um, that you'll be evaluated on in this section. All right, so it's 67 questions, 95 minutes. This is the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior, a very broad scope, a very broad range of topics, but with proper preparation and pacing yourself as you go through these different concepts, you can actually do very, very well on this section. Best of luck to you.